What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Legends of Mushroom video and today guys we're going to be taking a look at the new server versus server event that's just landed today on Legend of Mushroom. Of course I'm talking about this right here the cross server showdown. I have to say I've been playing this a little bit this morning and I'm really kind of impressed by this. This is a really cool event. Uh, so today I'm going to be just showing you how it all works. So if you're a little bit confused Hopefully today's video will help you out a little bit and hopefully we get some action. <laughs> so as you can see, this is a four server showdown. Our server, server one, is currently in first position, which is awesome. The event runs over a two day period. You can see there's one day, 11 hours left. Now, when you start this up, you're going to get a choice of how you would like to proceed. And it doesn't change your build as such. It just gives you some perks when you're inside of the, doing the um, doing the cross server event. So you could be a berserker, which gives you a PV vp bonus of hp attack and defense of 20 percent which is quite a lot um this is good if you're actually going to be trying to target players inside this server versus server event and uh, to be honest with you i went for this because you get the most points from attacking people so this is pretty good there's also a gorilla class you can go for which gives you a vision bonus which means you're going to see more of the map um rather than other people maybe you can see people at further distances default speed bonus and attack range 30%. This is actually kind of good too. It means you can snipe people really quickly. If you're quite a strong account, you can go and snipe people. In fact, let's just give this a go. We're going to switch over to Gorilla. It costs nothing to choose your first time. But if you want to switch like I just did, as you can see, it costs 3,000 diamonds to switch. So just bear that in mind before you start switching all the time, okay? And then there's Exorcist, which is if you're going to just be focusing on PvE. Maybe you're not the strongest player in the game, so you attacking players is kind of difficult for you. That's fine. You can still enjoy this event and go around and hit PvE targets. We're going to hit both in today's video so you can see what it's all about. Okay, there's a ranking table here as well. You can see I'm currently rank 90 because I've only been in there once and got 6,875 points. Um, there's people that have been playing this all morning by the looks of it. There's someone here in a first place with 56,000 points. Wow. And there is ranking rewards as well. You get a bunch of diamonds, bunches of tickets, which is pretty cool. Okay, if we click on tasks, you can see there's a whole bunch of little mini tasks. Now, I want you to know, guys, each run that you do in here takes 10 minutes. And I got all of these prizes off of just one run, apart from a couple. So we can go ahead and claim all these now. Let's go and get it all. It's always fun claiming the rewards. <laughs> Here we go. Now, remember, guys, while I'm claiming these, if you are buying packs inside Legend of Mushroom to make yourself stronger so you can kick some butt during the SVS events, make sure you do it with Aptoid. All the links are in the description below to download your app wallet, to download Aptoid. Also, a promotion code below, which is WORTHYMUSH, all capital letters, one word. Add that to your app wallet via rewards and promotion codes to get an extra 5% back on everything you purchase through Aptoid, as well as the Aptoid bonus as well, up to 25% back, which is pretty good stuff. So again, all the links are down in the description below for Aptoid to make your money go further when you're buying packs and Legend of Mushroom. As you can see, the points you're going to get, I've got quite a few here. Uh, you can go ahead and use these to purchase stuff inside here now these things here these these gold tokens these ones these showdown points i don't think i want to use those ones because i think those are the same ones which i get from the other event let me just check this 6903 if i go over here and click on the cross server rank match here and click on shop oh 1615 wait okay so they are different so these ones from this are completely different and they look similar. So I wanted to check. So, okay. So we don't need to worry about the fact we're not using these because I need those, of course, for the awakening crystals. Okay. So let's go back into this event. That looks like actual coins I got. Wow. 6,903. So I can buy 200 lamps if I want to. I can buy some soul essences. There's speed ups in here. There's, wow, there's souls in here. And there's keys. Oh man, look at this. There's the empowerment gears in here as well. And there is Divine Hammers. Oh, here we go. There's skills in here too. Okay, so you've got 100 Slashes, Windbrawn Arrow, and Crimson Moonfall. So I already know that Crimson Moonfall is the Mage skill. That's the one you want if you're going to do Mage. Uh, Windbrawn Arrow, I mean, it speaks for itself. That's the Archer Crossbow one. 
and the 100 slashes is for the warrior okay so those are the three skills available um i'm gonna be saving mine to try and get crimson moonfall absolutely um and then you've got a red soul in here as well and then there's some shards to level up the skill but yeah i want this crimson moonfall thing looks pretty good so yeah we definitely want to try and unlock that okay enough talking let's dive into the actual event the way you do it is you click the server that you want to attack you can see here um this guild here is second place 552 um we should probably jump in and attack this one right i guess let's go over here <laughs> and let's go to battle now when you click on it the second time you go in it's going to cost you 2000 diamonds first time is free second time is 2000 diamonds so do bear that in mind and we're going to jump in now you can see there are five different worlds the timer goes down immediately we've got nine minutes 53 there's five different worlds in which you can go to candy paradise lich kingdom capital of light shroomy city and forgotten ruins i'm going to go over to the lich kingdom um, and try this one out because i've not done this one yet now you can see this map comes up and then basically you choose where you want to go now i'm going to go over and next to this boss right on this boss over here and there's mushrooms to the top right mushrooms to the bottom left we'll try and get what we can get let's land in and let's go now these ones here these enemies here these are pve these guys are just pve enemies and they're pretty easy to kill uh so we're just going to jump in and kill as many as we can and you can see i am getting points every time i do this they're really simple to kill okay and i'm getting points every time i do it that's on cooldown let's move away let's make our way up um and we'll hit this one over here there we go so we have 10 minutes now to try and hit as many as we want now it's not just pve okay um it's not just people oh, that just popped up oops uh, it's not just pve it's actually pvp as well so if we go around and then you can click the speed up button make us go, go even faster <laughs> which is kind of cool um didn't hit let's go go that another pve monster will kill this so basically you don't need to be some massive player to enjoy this mode you can just go around and hit the pve now that you see the map in the corner it's a mushroom up here there we go that's an enemy mushroom we'll go in and attack it so this is a real player now we're attacking looks like a warrior and he's dead there we go there's a couple of mushrooms up here actually let's make our way up there's another two mushrooms up here and you do actually get more points for killing the mushrooms because obviously they're players as opposed to the pve stuff uh, okay there's another one dead and we've got another player over there yeah we'll probably bump into someone really strong no doubt um ooh, there's some free gems there let's grab those you're dead okay let's go there's another mushroom up top we've got some more pve monsters up here as well there's another mushroom click on it attack there we go <laughs> oh he's got a race car he's got a race car no he's dead it's all good okay nice we've got another oh no someone's coming for me who's this it's probably a big player uh oh okay we're gonna see what happens oh he, you picked the wrong mushroom bro <laughs> he came for me and he got he got smacked it's pretty good stuff okay nice we got a pretty good defense there that was good uh let's make us press use a speed boost let's make our way over this way we're looking for mushrooms because mushrooms are what give us the points there's another one down here let's go for this guy here we go oh he's got the mount Ooh. oh no i think i got him though yo he's got the really good mount that's the one i want but yeah it looks like we're a lot stronger that's good okay nice he's dead <laughs> Now, don't miss my HP as going down. That's right. The more successive hits you do in here, the more your HP goes down. By the way, you can switch worlds. If you want to switch world at any time, you can do that. Uh, any unit uh, allows you to go player match only or monsters only. So you basically, if I click players only and then click on auto, it will basically auto click on enemies when I go near them. So that if I go near this guy over here, it'll auto attack on it. You see that? I didn't need to actually press the button. It auto autoed in on it. And I can have it on, if I change it to any unit, if I move around, it will attack PvE monsters as well like that. Okay. So that's the auto function. You still have to move it around. I personally like to click on things. Um, but you, you can have it on auto if you want to just make it a little bit more easier for you as well. Okay, nice. We get the win. Now teleport allows you to go back to the map and you can teleport anywhere you want. So like if I move the map across here a little bit, you can see there's a bunch of mushrooms up here. I can click here. And I can click teleport. And I can teleport up here straight to these guys. There we go. And we can go straight in. So I can literally make sure I'm targeting mushrooms constantly to get maximum points. 
Okay, nice. There's one dead there. So we're up to 2,650. Let's hit this one. And this one's dead as well. Nice. 2,850. Nice. Okay, go back to teleport. Oh, it's in cooldown. Okay, there's a cooldown. I don't know how long the cooldown is, though. But it's in cooldown. Okay. There's mushroom down here. Let's go. All right. And, oh, he's got the outfit, the mount. Oh, he's, oh, he's pretty strong. He's pretty chunky. He's a thick boy. Oh, no, we're taking his life down. We're good. I think we're good anyway. Yeah, he's below 50%. I don't think we're going to lose this. He's got pretty good damage, this guy. But I think we're chunky enough to take him on. There we go. Nice, he's dead. See, my HP's down by about 25% right now. Um, okay, let's go. And hit this one. Nice. So we're getting some PvE monsters on the way as well. Is this teleport up? Oh, teleport's back. Okay, the green ones are my mushrooms from my kingdom. Uh, oh, there's a whole bunch over here. Let's just teleport right into this lot over here. <laughs> What's up, peeps? Let's have a look. We'll probably find someone really big. Let's have a look. Here we go. And we're going to take this one out. Nice. That's an insta-kill. Good stuff. Okay, we've got some more mushrooms up here. Let's hit these guys. And another aeroplane, dude. All right. Nice. So my suggestion for you guys when you're doing this is focus on the mushrooms. Like, because the mushrooms are going to give you the more points and you want the points. Like, it's costing you diamonds to come in here, so you want to maximize the time when you're in here and kill as many as you can. Because then that way you're going to hopefully get those skills unlocked and stuff, right? Yo, we're absolutely destroying these mushrooms over here. Let's go. Boom. Nice. Insta-kill. Love that. Uh, let's, can we teleport again? We can teleport again. Nice. Let's find some more mushrooms. Oh, wait. Uh... Where's there a good bunch of them? Okay, there's a bunch there. Let's go right over there. All right, so we've got a mushroom here. There we go, let's hit him. And another warrior, dead. This is so cool. It's a, you know what, it's a cool, it's a cool PVP event, I have to say. I do like this. Um, it's nice. It's nice that they've done this. It's not even that costly to play it, you know, which is good. Uh, obviously, the, how well you do is going to be dependent on how strong your mushroom is. Um, but it's it's actually pretty cool. It's a pretty cool event. So we're going to smack this guy. There we go. Nice. We're going to move our way up. Let's put a little speed boost on. Um, there's a there's a there's a free diamond bag there. Give me that. I think I've already hit this guy once. Let's hit him again. Here we go. Boom. I didn't kill this many people last time in the PvP as aspect of it. I was going for a lot of PvE stuff on the last run I've done, so it's going to be interesting to see how many points I get. Alright, now- Oh! Just got attacked. Someone's- like, someone's- Oh! Look at this guy! <laughs> Yo, yeah, the, that's, a, that's a big player right there. That's a big player. Okay, I, I lost, but I got away somehow. I don't understand how I got away. How am I not dead? Oh, did, did it lag out? I don't know what happened there. Yo. Yo, what happened? I can't even click on anyone. It still says I'm in battle. Hang on a second. No, 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 no. I think I, think I lagged it out. <laughs> Hang on, let me see if I can go to a different map. Just to try and fix the lag. Uh, there's a bunch of mushrooms over here. Let's go over here. Whoa. I, got, I went straight into a fight the moment I landed. Yo, I think... I don't know. That, that guy hit me so hard, it crashed my game. That was hilarious. Yeah, that guy had the maxed mount and all of that. That guy was that guy a massive player that just hit me. Okay, I beat that one. I don't know. I, somehow I didn't die. I kind of just glitched out the fight and didn't die. That's pretty cool. Okay, we've got a mushroom over here. Let's go to one of the other worlds as well. We'll just move around. See what all the worlds look like. Okay, nice. There's another mushroom up here. Let's go get this one. Okay. And boom. Gotcha. All right, sweet. Can we teleport? We go to somewhere else. Let's go to the capital of light. I haven't been here. What's that? It's a, like a boss thing here in 91, but it says unable to teleport to this area. So that's weird. Maybe I have to like teleport next to it or something. 
Let's just go here and go to the right and see what it is. What is that? Oh. Are we fighting this thing? Okay. Oh, wow. That thing is, uh, that thing is strong. Is this like a raid boss? You have to kill between like, it's between like the, your alliance or something. Oh, his life didn't go down much. Let's take a look. Um, right, it's down to 88%. So we took it from 91 to 88. As you can see, everyone's attacking the outside of this thing and they're going for it, but it's 88% left. I think we get some kind of bonus or something for killing it. I have no idea. Um, anyway, we've only got a minute left. So let's come out of here. Uh, let's go back over here. Let's go to Shroomy City. Let's make our way across here. Let's drop into some mushrooms quickly and see if we can get a last few kills. There we go. Um, let's get them. Try and get a few more points at the end here. Nice. Big win. There's another one up there. Okay, good. There's another one. There's one there as well. Okay, good. Let's teleport. I can't teleport. Okay, just go up. Speed boost. There we go. There's one there. Got 37 seconds left. Okay, that's another win. There's another mushroom up here. There we go. So, again, my, my strat would be to just go for the PvP side of it. Don't worry too much about the PvE side of it, um, if you can. There's a guy here with a bit of life on this. Just trying to, this guy's a big guy, I think. Or maybe not. No, no, we got him. Just focus on the PvP side because that's where all the points are. I'll get this last one. Yeah, we got it. Nice. All right, boom. And that right there is it. So that takes me out. You can see I got 8,248 points. I defeated 29 enemies and I slayed eight monsters. Okay, great. So if we go back into the rankings now. You can see that I'm going to obviously go up in rank because I've done some more. I'm now ranked up at 96. And so I'm just going to have to keep going back in there again and again and again to get as many points as possible, basically. But yeah, personal ranking, 6,875 points. Uh, monster slaying, we're now up to 132. And server ranking, of course, we are still in for absolutely smashing this, which is really, really good. So nice. I also got my other two tasks done, which is awesome. And uh, here you go. So as far as all my personal tasks go, they're all completed. Um, I've got 15,000 uh, of these coins. I'm going to grab the lamps, to be honest with you. I'm just going to grab all these lamps. Look at that. That is a 1,400 lamps. Nice. And you get 10 of those. And so you can get 2,000 lamps from this thing, which is pretty cool. I like it. Guys, overall, I think this event's an absolute dub. Um, it's a really nice event they've added in. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy playing your SVS and good luck with winning. All right. If you've got any questions about this event at all, by all means, put them down below in the comments. Um, but I'm really enjoying playing this. It's just another great addition to Legend of Mushroom already. Remember, guys, if you are buying packs and you're leveling up your Mushroom Man to be as strong as possible, don't forget to do it with Aptoid. All the links are down in the description below, including the promotion code Worthy Merch to get an extra 5% back on top of the Aptoid promotion, which means up to 25% back, which is pretty good stuff. Again, all those links are down below for you. That's all I've got for you on Legend of Mushroom today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, you know how this next bit's going to go. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, don't hallucinate and peace out.